got a question for you. Look, you see that bird? Stringy spaghetti? Wow. Huh? Look at that. How do you cut that? How you be bird that? You see it? It's just wrapping around the plant. Hey, you guys, give me an answer. How you get heard? Do you use this? Or this? Or something else? Huh? Write in the comments how you get heard. I need to know because I gotta unwrap that stuff. I gotta take a measurement, cut it down to size. Look at that nasty thread. I'm going to turn it in. Alright, give me your answer. Welcome new subscribers to Skunk Works. Thank you very much for subscribing. I have here Fluke 196 Little C and I'd like to answer two questions that he asked me. The first one was this item right here. He asked what is this? Well this is a roller for the food industry and it's what it does is Cheerios, the cornflake Cheerios is a Chinese version of the Cheerios. So it makes these little O's or the little donuts. They can't say Cheerios, so they call it something else in Chinese, but that's what it's for. It does the same thing, it's little Cheerios. All right, and his second question was, why do I have the steady rest so close to the chuck? Well, to answer that question, I need to turn the whole length of that di uh, diameter, as you see there in the video. And to do that, I would have to only be able to cut about three quarters of the length. Once I finish cutting the length, I will slide the steady rest to the tailstock and set it up there so it could support the end and then I will be able to drill a hole which I will show you in the next set of videos. So that's the reason why I have the steady rest at the front of the chuck so I can slide it over when I'm finished turning the diameter. Okay, here you see me on cutting UHMW natural, 6 inch diameter, and they come in 10 feet long. See here cutting, and basically what I am doing did was uh, scribe the, the plastic, hit it with my center punch, then drill it with the drill, and now you see me facing it. And I'm going to re-drill it so I have to attach the, the drill bits to the next step. But right here, I want you to please take note of the tool bit. Now, for plastic, the best thing to do is high-speed steel. You see a lot of people using the ceramic inserts, which is uh, not good for plastic. And look at the distance from the tool holder to the tip of the tool bit. This is very critical. A lot of people, they extend it out way too long and this creates vibration. That's why you get a very terrible finish. Please take note of this step right there, the distance of the tool bit from the tool holder. Alright, here we are. We're going to bore this hole. This is uh, 
40 inches long. All right. So we're gonna squirt a little oil in there. A little lubrication. And uh, let's see what happens. gonna try this this is gonna be quite difficult because I need two hands I gotta pull a chip the chip is hot so I gotta wear gloves don't you nanny say anything about that all right so I got the camera in my pocket because I need two hands and sit this in there Hopefully, you see what you see. So we're gonna feed this in there. And I gotta pull the chip. This is gonna be crazy wild. All right, I gotta squirt a little bit of oil. Because it gets hot. Okay. Alright. Okay, right here I'm going to check my RPMs. Make sure I'm reading at 330 RPMs. We are. Check my feed rate. Running at 11. Okay, here we go. You guys can see what you're going to see. All right, just to let you know, I'm going to get the, the thread, the chip. I'm going to pull it through here, feed it through here, pull it out. All right, so see what happens. Thank you. 
Okay, as you see me here, once the boring bar made the cut, the chips, I had to pull that chip. I pulled it through the tailstock spindle holder and then wrapped it around the two posts, the steady rest posts right there. And then coming back to the tool bar, the indexing head for the tool holder. And then I would pull it. This would keep the line straight. This is why I feed it in this way. Now, the chip is hot. So that's why I have to wear gloves. Please take a note of that. The chip is hot. You cannot let off on the backlash. If you do, it will clog up the boring hole. And the chip will cause it to overheat and melt. And you will damage the hole. Now, the hole size that we are boring... This is a boring hole, so the hole size we want is 1 inch point two zero zero or 1 inch 200. So you just see me here, I have to maintain the tension on the chip by pulling it so it will not clog up on the inside and melt. The chip is hot, it is very hot, that's why you have to wear gloves. Alright, let's see how we finish it. Yeah, you're going to get tired too. It's hot. Even with the gloves. Chip is hot. Almost there. Now this is the hardest part, as we get closer and closer to the edge, I had to maintain pulling this chip, and as soon as we get closer, I had to shut it off before the carriage hits the steady rest. If the carriage hits the steady rest, it will bump it, and I will screw up the ID hole on the inside, so all my work will be destroyed. So this is where it gets so critical. Now, I really had to hit the half beyond the halfway mark. I like to go four inches beyond the halfway mark. So when I flip it over and do the other side, they will match. So here's the critical part that timing is everything. You have to pull that chip. You have to wash the carriage and the tailstock and shut it off in time. All right, let's see if I do it. Get the camera out. Alright. See how close I got it? Alright. Got it right there. Now I'll show you the size. And that will be it. On to the next step. Remember, we want one inch, two hundred. There it is. What is that? Huh? Can you see that? We'll shy 1,000. All right. There you go. There's the print. Got a question for you. Look, you see that bird? Stringy spaghetti? Wow. Huh? Look at that. How do you cut that? How you be bird that? You see it? It's just wrapping around the plastic. I need you guys to give me an answer. How you be bird? Do you use this? 
Well, did you guys put the answer in the comment section? Let's see. I'll read the comment section and hopefully some of you guys put the answers there. Now, here's the real answer. Alright, here's the answer. You don't use this, no. You don't use this, no. This is how you use it. You use this. Ready? That's how you do it. Alright, you see? And that's how you do it. I wish to thank you all for subscribing to the Skunk Work channel. If we overlook the bowling facility below, you can see that I really appreciate all the support you have given me. If you do uh, just keep it up, I would appreciate that so much. And hit the like button if you choose to do so. Thank you so much.